Hello and very welcome. Look at this table. It's from where where physics practical. I brought the table from there so that we can use it to learn a lot of things. There are some things that are wrong with this. Some things that are wrong with this table. Can you identify them? I don't know if you can identify the errors we have here. Now the first error here is the units. This is mass. So the unit should be written here in grams. This one is in cm, it's correct. If this one is in meters, this one should be in kilograms. So this one will have x raised to power minus 1. So the unit should be cm minus 1. If you don't put the units, it means that you'll be given no units. Now this, like minus, you will lose some max. Eh? Then this, this one, times 7 square 3, is also the unit, cm minus 1. Alright, so look at this. Another thing that is not proper here is the decimal places. 40, all oh, these ones have 0, these ones do not have 0. So complete the decimal places. So it's better to make it like this. This one point zero. this one point zero. See this one, 35.5, so this one is 25. So it's better to make it 0, 0. Like this, this one is complete. 0, 0, 0 is okay now. Before now it was wrong, but now it's very, very okay. Very, very okay now. So we are going to proceed to this. So now it's about is this is a uh, is a table from uh, principle of moment, you know, moment and uh, weights and distance, something like this, distance. So we have your your masses. You put mass here and measure the distance. So mass and distance. This is what give us this something like this. So uh, I want to clean this. So. On this table, we are going to have something um, inverse of this. We are going to evaluate inverse of this. Inverse means 1 divided by this. 1 divided by this. 1 divided by this. 1 divided by this. Now, see, observe something here. This is 40. This is 37. 60, 25. 80, 15. 100, uh, 80, 18, 115. 120, 12. What can you observe here? What can you observe? So what you have, you have to observe here is this. So when this four, this is four, this is thirty-seven. When this is six, this is twenty-five. So it is increasing here while it is decreasing here. Forty, thirty-seven, sixty, twenty-five, eighty, eighteen, hundred, fifteen, one, twenty, twelve. This is increasing. This one is decreasing. Something like this will give you inverse a graph like this. It's an inverse graph. So it means if we have Something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Look at it. When it is 6, it's 1.2. When it is 5, it is 2.5. When it is 4, it is 3. Point. See, 3. So as this one is decreasing, this one is increasing. This is an inverse graph. So, but now, when you have inverse graph, this is mass. This is x. So when you want to, when you are, when you invert this x now, this is mass in grams. Going to have a, a value like this, which means when this one is increasing, this one is also what increasing. They are increasing. The two of them are increasing in proportion. So we are going when we take the inverse of this, we are going to obtain a graph like this. All right. So well, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Okay, so what we have here is so let's use our calculator to get the inverse of each of these. So this gives us 1 divided by 37.5 is 0 0.02666. So we have to approximate. So three decimal places, so 0 0.027. So here in this one, we'll do it. 1 divided by 25. This gives us 0 0.04. So because we are using 1, 2, 3, remember what I told you. But this small place should be equal add 0 here. So that it becomes okay. Now we have 18.75. 1 divided 18.75 gives us 0 0.05333. So I have leave it at 0 0.053. Alright. So the next one is 15. 
1 divided 15.00 gives us 0 0.0666, so 0 0.067. The next one, 1 divided by 12.5 will give us 0 0.08, so we'll put 0 here. So this is for this one. All right. All right. Thank you very much. We'll continue like this. So now we have, so if you do, if you take this 1, 2, 3, move this 1, 2, 3, that is 3 is power minus 3, right? So this one will give us 27.00123, 40.00123, 0, 0, 0, 53.00, 0, 0. that's why I'm after 3 is power minus 3. So this has taken care of all this of writing 3 is power minus 3 here, here, here. This is already representing it. This one will give us 67.00. This one will give us 80.00. The next thing we have to do now is to plot this graph. While plotting your graph, please, your graph should be... What, what are the first things you should consider? The first thing you should consider are the values. You are asked to plot the graph of M mass in grams on the vertical axis against x raised to power minus 1 on the what? horizontal axis so what is vertical what is horizontal vertical horizon vertical horizon vertical horizon so we are going to plot this but you check the highest values of the low highest value here and lowest value here that determines so the lowest value is 40 the highest is 120 here the lowest value is 27 highest is what 80 so we are going to use this to consider our scale so that we will make the graph the graph should be the one that will just be, be like this. It will cover up like this. If you do it and it's something like this, if it's something like this, is from here to here, this is not proper. So you have to expand the values so that it will like cover at least 3 over 4 of the, of the graph. So that is what will make it to become a good graph. And you find us, you will find the values very, very easily. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to now plot this graph. So we are going to plot this graph now. Look at, your graph should be the type that it will be wide enough. Eh? Eh? Your graph should spread up like this. I'm also going to teach that why students fail physics. Why many students fail physics. So if you do something like this, it should be wide. At least covers 3 over 4 of the graph. Three quarter of the graph. Don't do something that is small like this. It's not appropriate. So it depends on the numbers you have here and here. The numbers you are going to plot the graph of m mass in grams against um, uh, mass in grams on the vertical, right? Uh -huh. And um, and what x raised to power minus one on the horizontal. So this means vertical like this, horizontal. Vertical horizontal. So now we are going to take note of something that is very necessary. These are mass in grams. These are x raised to the power minus one. That is times ten raised to the power minus three. The unit is cm minus one. So now this is our zero point. So now what is the highest value? What is the highest value here? One twenty, lowest forty. Highest value eighty, lowest twenty seven. So this one is for this. So here you have something like one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is 2 cm. This one is the bigger, the thicker number. If we have other ones. So you have it like this. Up to 10 like this. Up to 11, 12 like this. And 10 like this. So you have to, you have to look at this. So if I say, let's, let's take, here you have 120. If you say, if you say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, you see that it may not. So now you have to, in, in, your, in choosing the values, eh, you have to look for numbers that are really divisible by 10. Like you can use 2, something that can go by 10. You can count it to have 10. You can use 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Don't use numbers that are odd. Like 3, uh, 3, 3, 3, 3, uh, 6, 9. No, this one will be difficult. And mind you, it is not better, it is not good to say, from here to here, uh, 20. Now here, 30 is strong. This is strong. So if you zero from here to here is 20, this place will be what? 40. This place was 60, 80, 100, 120, and upwards. 
I hope that is clear. So now, so now, the same thing with this place. So now, let's look at it. We say 10, it cannot be. So we can say 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 120. This is what we have here. Then, then right here we have the lowest number here is 27, highest 80. So we can go, this one cannot go by 10. 10, 20. Like if we are saying 20, 30, 40 is wrong. Or we say 40, 50, no. So 20, 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 140, 160, 180. So from here to here is 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. But the highest number we have here is what? 80. So we are going to plot this now. So when the mass in grams is 40, x inverse is 27. So 40, this is 25, the middle of it, you should be able to calculate. This one is easier. So now we are going to have another one that is a bit more technical than what we have in this. It's just a simple table. This one is always, it's very, very easy. So now 40, so we now say 25, 26, 27 comes up here like this. And this is the point. So students, I have told students that it's not, it will not be ideal to do something like this, use something like this, start, no. Uh, it's better these days to use, when you know the point, you, you mark it, you make the point, then you circle it. Then the next one is what? When it's 60, is 40. Where is our 60 here? So 40, 60, 40, see it here. I'm just doing this because it's not a graph sheet. Okay. So I hope we are not of the. So it is like this. 60. So we have to try to be as accurate as possible. So so that we don't have any. Alright. So the next one is 80.53. See our 80 here. This 53. So this is 55. 51, 52, 53 comes up here to 80. This is it. Okay. All right. So these are points here. Now the next one is 167. Where is 100? 100 here. So it's 65, 66, 67 comes up. This is the point. So, oh yeah. You can get a graph sheet and do something like this yourself. You can do it and get it. It's not difficult. Then 120, 80. Where is our 120 seat here? See our 80 here. So I hope this is straight enough. Okay. So we have obtained the values. Now it's time. Use your ruler. Join. It's not sometimes all the points. This this mark, this thing will not, it cannot cut all of them. But you have to cut it the way that it will balance. Eh? If you have something like this, if you have something like this, you have something like this, let me say, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So you take the, pos the possible three, see, like this. So these two, let me put this one here. These two are, see that it's balanced. Not like doing it like this. Come and take these three. Uh, these two are off, so it's not good to be like this. So do it like the way to balance and look very good. Okay, so this one, let's see how we can do it. So these three, okay, we have, we get, we have four here like this. Sorry, I'm not using the ruler. I'm supposed to do that, but... So here, that it's cut is here. This is intercept on the vertical axis. So it goes up like this. So now... With this now, we can do whatever we want to do. So the, let's find our slope. Let's find our slope. Our slope is from here to here to here. This is our slope. So this is our change in mass. And this place is our change in S to power minus 1. So, so we have this value. Trace this and then trace this. So I change in mass to our slope. Our slope. Let's find our slope here. Our slope is changing mass over changing s to the power minus one. That is 
minus 2 minus minus 1 over s to the power 1, 2 minus s to the power minus 1, 1. So let's do it now. So we are going to use calculator to solve this now. So what is here? 100 minus 40. We have 100 minus 40, right? Uh, this place is 100 minus 40 over, all right. So here we have what? 70. Is it 70 or 60 something? We have 67. 67. Because this is not so appropriate. So do like this. So that will be very short. 60, 67 that we use that time because it's the point. So it's 67. 67 minus what? 67 minus this minus 27. Okay. Okay. So 100 minus 40 is what? 60. 7 minus 27 is what? 40. So 6 divided by 4, 6 divided by 4 will give you what? 1.5. 1.5. So 60 over 40 will give you 1.5. Now remember that in our units, what we have down here, what we have down here as the is times 10 is 1 minus 3. So when this one comes up, it becomes 1.5 times 10 is to power. Minus 3 is the value of our what? Of our slope. 1.5 times 10 is power minus 3. This is the value of our slope. So this now what is the unit? This one. This one is in grams. This one is in cm minus 1. So our unit should be grams, cm minus 1 coming up. Cm. This is our slope. 1.5 times 10 is power minus 3. But as it's coming up, rather, sorry, it becomes 10 is to power 3. Because this minus 3 is coming up becomes 10 raised to power 3. 1.5 times 10 raised to power 3 grams cm. So you want to have something like this, we give you 1,500 grams cm, something like this. So this is for this graph. So if you are asked to evaluate something like, evaluate, evaluate as equal to slow, uh, k, uh, k equal to root s over, over 4, it means 1,000 square root of 1,500 divided by 4. Anything you are asked to do, you can evaluate and evaluate and evaluate. It's not difficult. So this is a very nice one. So I would like you to join us uh, in our next video where I will give you the one that is a little bit more technical. Don't forget to make comments. Ask your questions in our comment section. Mr. Primo says, good luck. You shall have A1 in physics this year. Thank you.